Good afternoon, Lace Chapman. I'm John. This is many a true nerd. Welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Well, last time we joined up with Ashley Graham, and then she died because I shot her by mistake. So, okay, lesson learned. Don't do that again. So, all right, Ashley, and me and you, and let's see what we flipping got. Crack open, and we're into brand new territory. And seriously, ammo is uh, a bit on the low side right now. Oh, and this looks like an excellent starting point, actually. Okay, hang about. Help myself to absolutely all of it. Oh, that's more flipping like it. Yeah, give me all of that, please. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm getting suspicious. The game's now being too generous with the amount of ammo it's giving me. All right. Come on. Okay. I love how every time we run into this guy, he absolutely kicks my ass. It's lovely. So requires cleansing. Come, child. Ashley, run! Oh, hang on. I think we're replacing the, uh, yes, section where you run away from the giant with a section where we run away from this guy, so... Uh, Okay, just... No! No, 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 no! None of... Okay, this is definitely a waste of ammo. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about any of them. And... Boop! Right, that's gonna be them sorted out, hopefully. Even get myself a little bit of money. Ashley, try not to get set on fire, if at all... No! How did you miss that? That badly. You used a cocking shotgun. Right, straight past him. Try not to get... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I see we got something good here. Ashley! Keep your head down, please. Thank you. Also, hang on. Are we supposed to be going... Oh, we're supposed to be going this way. Ashley, we're going... Oh, we got more trouble yet, mind. Okay. Uh, I'm stuck. Uh, we need to go. Uh, oh. You got to kill me. Oh, God. Then run. He's got so much more character than he used to in the original. I love him. Okay, health items are getting very worryingly low. Don't heal just yet. Oh, yeah, hold off for the second. Uh, just in case I can find a yellow or red herb. But... Okay, we're kind of off the beaten track at this point. Where have we ended up? Oh, yeah, I was kind of assuming we'd be going straight down this track towards the castle. But, uh, no. Possibly there's a bit more out the way first. Oh, and I suspect I know what this large building just around the corner is. Right. We have got a merchant. We have got loads of uh, money and whatnot. Okay, this is it. This is the showdown against the lads. Okay, no new treasure. Can't really afford anything from the shop. So, uh, all right. Here we flipping go. Let's make this. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is the place. So there's going to be a whole bunch of ammo dotted about. And Jeff, yeah, he's anything like he used to be, there's going to be a couple of phases. Him on the ground, then him, oh yeah, swinging around on the rafters. It's going to be a very similar fight to the original. Just shotgun out, be ready, because I am a... There we flipping go. That's why I didn't use the green herb a second ago. Brilliant. Okay, so two full heals, a whole bunch of handgun, not much of anything else. Plenty, however, of long range. So, okay, that might be my best option because uh, that's my most powerful gun, right? Okay, here's fun. I didn't notice this till right now. Not even close, actually. Yeah, the power is only 3.9. The trick is uh, it gains, yeah, bonus power against weak points. So uh, if you just fire this thing, like, at random into, like, you know, a chest or whatever, it's going to do basically nothing. Like, literally less damage than just two red nine shots. Okay, so it's embarrassing I didn't realise that till right now, but at least I do know it. So, okay, this thing, do not fire unless you're firing into a weak point, which is going to be the plaga, the head, that sort of business. Otherwise, it's basically useless. Oh, yeah, here we flipping go. Yeah. 
cease your pointless struggling. Abandon your body to the will of our God. You're a shitty missionary. You know that. Oh, Almighty. Grant me the strength to crush your enemies. Son of a bitch! Ashley, run! Okay. Hustle away, go. God, I thank you for your gift. You want to get ugly? Let's get ugly. Okay, time to get some good shots in on you. Oh, blimey. I should have known you were one of the bugs. Okay, Leon, you didn't know he was one of the bugs. Okay, just get around him if need be. All right, let's just get a little bit of healing going on right now. Love. Leon T's. Oh, down the ground. That's going to be the good stuff. Right, we can knock him down. Beautiful. Keep on knocking him back. Oh, blimey. Okay, that's that's all fine. I mean, probably add. Oh, uh-oh. Jump. Knife. 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 That's good. As long as you've got knife, you're in pretty good shape. And uh, that is all we've got. And he's... Oh, he's down the ground again. Good. That's got to be good. Okay, he's got an eye on the back of his neck. That might be what we need to aim for, though. That's phase one. Okay, his legs are off. He's now going to be, yes, going up to the rafters. Probably I want to be going for... Yeah. My rifle. Go for that. Go for the head. If we can get behind him, he might have like an eye on the back of his neck. That's going to be... Oh, that's the option. Okay. So I just walked straight into a uh, a thing there. And... Oh. Uh-oh. He's back. Ow! He's tossing things at me and I can barely... Also, there's so much fire. Okay. I need to get into a better position. Where have we... Seriously, Leon. Stop, stop walking into the fire. I need to get up. There's, uh, this is my last healing item. I think I saw a herb uh, up top, but that's all fine. That's something. And ladder. Okay. I need to get into a sniping position at this point. Oh, hello, 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 hello. No. Oh, balls. Had I not missed, that would have gone really well. Oh, this is the spot. This is the spot right here. And no. And then start running. There we Okay, so we just need to dodge this bit right here. And ideally... Oh, he's getting up. Well, this has gone a bit wrong. Okay, I now know what to do in phase two going forward. And he's... No, he's coming. He's coming. Okay. Phase two. He can charge towards you. And then he could just come in for a swipe. Just, uh, yeah. At that point, maybe go for the evade. Watch for the evade prompt. Other than that, the big opening's going to be he's occasionally going to toss some, um, yes, barrels at you. If I can just shoot them before he tosses them, that's going to be the key. Okay, phase two again. We've just got to be watching out for, yes, when he charges, blimey heck. When he charges forward, uh, yeah, be ready to move. Uh, just move to the other side, potentially, yes. And when he moves back. That's the key. Just wait for him to move here. Move to the other side. Uh, trying to get caught there. Get the odd hit in if you can. Watch out for the prompts. But yeah, when he goes back and goes for his lovely uh, tossers, uh, that's the big moment right there. Just go into here. If we can, uh, hang on. That's it. That's the moment right there. That's the big hit. Just get in all of you. Get in some big hits. This is lovely. And now start running while he tosses that. Get some more hits in if at all possible. That was a good hit right there. That was good. That was good. That was good. I think he's about to come. He's about to do some tossing again. Move. Don't get hit. Wait if we're lucky. That's some good damage. And that's another good hit right there. We're doing well here. We're doing really well. This is looking really positive. Red Nine is strong. He's coming in. Evade. Good. Reload. Maybe go over to rifle if at all possible. If need be, jump down. Trying to get involved in fire. Evade. That was a little flip there. Very fancy. Right. Just keep on keeping on. Go for anything we've got. He's coming. Oh. Okay. This is close now. I'm out of healing, I think. I've got nothing. Oh, but this might be it, actually. That was a third right there. And we've got a whole bunch of... Oh, yeah. Okay. Second time. That was... 
That was okay, actually. Once I understood the second phase, uh, that was manageable. Red 9 does a great job on phase 2, and the shotgun, Red! great on phase 1. Okay, I'm not sure how seriously to take that because, okay, well, it's not going to come down before I grab the eye. So, in which case, just got to, uh, yeah, loot everything first. Going to work under the assumption everything's fine. I mean, it was fine in the original. I'm not leaving behind a, a flash grenade, okay? Not a cooking chance. That's a kitchen knife. That's cooking useless. And I think that's your lot. So, just grab the... Please don't die by jumping into the fire. That would be hilarious. Right, let's be on our way. Lovely. We've almost made it. The castle is here. But, okay. Biggest problem we've got now is, okay, bloody hell. Health is low insofar as I have literally no healing items. But I have two red herbs, meaning if I can just find some green herbs, we'll be golden. Right, so mosey on in this direction. Map said, yeah, might be a couple of treasures en route. But, if this is like the original game, I'm also about to be chased by... Oh, I see a truck there. That truck could be a source of concern. That truck chases you down in the original. But it might just be here as a bit of like, you know, a joke, a reference, whatnot. We'll have to flipping see. Still, for the moment at least, Ashley, get down. We have got treasure number one, treasure number two. Okay, we've also just got, um, accessories and gold tokens. Okay, next time I find a merchant, he better have that bloody elevator to his shooting gallery, because I am ready for that, and... and I'm going to be honest, this truck actually isn't big enough to, like, run me down. I could just get out the way, so... Over we go, into the castle... Now the game gets a lot... Oh. Oh, never mind. I suspect the trope might be coming anyway. Oh, no. What's going on? Well, at least we don't have to worry about being followed. Come on. Welcome to the second act of the game, where things are about to get a whole lot more nasty. Hola, Luis here. You guys still around? Well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. Perfect, because I have a present I want to give you. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. Where do we go? Let's see. Come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. All right. Objective the next to catch All up right. with Lewis. Oh, and when he says the courtyard of the castle, I was kind of assuming, like, you know, that might be at the front, but, um... No, not so much. It's a very, very cocky big castle, apparently. And yes, as I say, this is where things are going to get a bit real. Because this is the point where the enemies start becoming much better armed. Some of them are going to have shields, uh, maces, uh, all sorts of good scary bits and pieces. Still bare minimum. Good chance for me to top up on everything. And even better, a brand new merchant shop. Oh, and here's fun. So, okay, the false eye used to be like a key item to get you past the door. But on this occasion, no, it's just a treasure. Oh, and blimey, this is completely different. So, yes, in the original, this is the point where you got the riot shotgun and the stingray. I'm not sure it was actually called the stingray at the time. Now, okay, a whole bunch of stuff is available. So, the black tail has come in early. The next handgun up from the Red 9. So, arguably, I do like the Red 9. But, the black tail is also, yes, way more space efficient. It's tiny, it doesn't come with the stock. It saves you a lot of space. And that space might be important because... Uh, broken Butterfly. The first Magnum of the game. And Magnum Ammo Recipe for Frey. I mean, oh, this this just got tricky, actually. Okay, if I sell my old rifle, then I can buy the new rifle. And also on top of that, I could buy the Magnum while it's cheap. And then we can upgrade them at later. After all, right now my main rifle, fully upgraded, is at 3.9. That's as powerful as it's ever gonna get. 
This girl's already at 3.3 with zero upgrade. Ammo capacity, way better. So, you know what? Let's go for it. It's fine. So, sell you. Get a refund on all of the upgrading. Lovely. Then give me, yeah, the broken butterfly. That could go at the top of the case on the pistol row. And the stingray too. Though, yes, we might need to uh, rearrange the case a bit. Oh, you see now this here. This is a problem, both in terms of a desperate lack of space and also aesthetics. So, though I would normally very happily keep the Red Nine into the late game, on this occasion, given as I understand it, yeah, the guns have been a bit rebalanced, the Red Nine is no longer the absolute ridiculous murder machine it used to be, I'm going to sell the Red Nine as well, we're going to go over to the Black Tail. So, everything old is out, everything new is in. Oh, especially as the Red Nine has been upgraded so much, that's where my money is. So, okay. Stranger. It's so sad to sell the Red Nine, but oh, I need the space. So, uh, Blacktail comes into play, that's and that gives me plenty of change right to buy some upgrades. No. Oh, now that's nice. Like, okay, maybe it's not quite got the power of the Red Nine, at least not yet. I do need to upgrade it, but that accuracy, that is lovely. And speaking of which, yeah. 3.7 power immediately, that is expensive, mind. Uh, 15 up to 18 on the Broken Butterfly, the first Magnum of the game. And yeah, this has got to go straight up to max. Right there. So okay, that's now 1.9. Okay, let's hope I've not just made some terrible decisions there. But bare minimum, yeah, we've got some lovely, sexy new guns available. With a particular focus on, yeah. The Stingray. That thing is, oh, that's going to be beautiful. That's going to be my go-to weapon for the time being. Because, uh, as I say, there's going to be enemies in this area who have uh, shields. So, uh, precise targeting against their exposed body parts, that's going to be key. And speaking of which, what precisely do we have going on here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget, we're storming a castle right now, so... Uh, We've now got, you know, people who have got lovely weaponry. When I say weaponry... What is that? I'm guessing it's not for decoration. Yeah, actual catapults and whatnot, which is marvellous. And big and nasty people wearing helmets and stuff. Huh. Oh, your has got to be through that gate. Don't think our hosts are going to roll out the red carpet. All right, far side of this open area. That's my destination, apparently. Crossbows, huh? Something tells me they don't want to be friends. Oh, yes, the crossbows. I'd forgotten the crossbows. Yeah, on top of the uh, maces and shields and whatnot. Also crossbows. Basically, everyone's going to be a lot better armed now. Though just out of interest, even though I'm way over here, could I just maybe, like, you know assassinate their lovely catapult user right now. Because if so, honestly, I feel like that's a good thing to do. Okay, Ashley, stay nearby to me. I suspect sooner or later, we're walking into some trouble. Ideally, the game will give me some healing, some nice free, easy rooms before we... Not that free and easy. There's definitely something going on here. Okay, just a bit of murder on, like, you know, a lovely uh, altar or whatnot. And what precisely are... Oh, okay. That's absolutely fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. New, bigger, nastier plague ass right there. Marvellous. Lovely thing about the castle, by the way. Yes, your new breakables are no longer just uh, scruffy old barrels. Uh, it's now lovely vases you're just uh, smashing apart, which is great. Also, even though it's, you know, a bit of a bad idea to have uh, no healing available, I'm a bit nervous of the fact I've got literally no health right now. So everything's going to be fine. Just reload all the weapons. Oh, I do not feel well set up for the castle. This is... This is concerning right here. And yes, if the new large plagger shows up, go over to Sniper. Just go over to Sniper. That's a good idea. And Magnum is for emergencies if need be. Stick with pistol for day to day. All right. Good solid headshot with this thing. Go into the kick. The basics still work here. 
Oh, and I think I know what I'm running into. Yeah, there's a section right at the start of the castle in the original where you have to run around outside for a bit and uh, the enemies are nasty. There's all sorts of bits and pieces going on and uh, I suspect the bits and pieces are about to. Right. This is the point where we start sniping. As I was just saying. Sniping. Better. Much, much better. Say much, much better. Right. So we're going to want to snipe. That's all going to be fine. Just everybody, please get in position. Don't trust that hitbox just yet. And that one looks a bit... Come on, buddy. Just just hold still for one second. Lovely. Okay, that was a good shot. That made up for the first one. So, yes, we're now dealing with uh, snipers and whatnot. Life is about to get a whole lot more complicated. And that's before the catapults start bloody firing. So, okay, just... Oh, Ashley... I'd like you to just sort of, uh, yeah, hide uh, over here for the time being. So, pop out, buddy. No, 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 I can't see properly. Right. If they drop the weapon, you know they're dead. That's a useful tell at the bare minimum. Right. One more shot. Takes down the snipers. But okay, I'm now walking into more and more trouble. And yeah, that's not really like a stay command, but it's enough to keep her out of the way if needs be. So, all right. Keep on keeping on. We're also gathering gunpowder. Can we craft anything at this point? Could make some uh, handgun ammo. That's about your lot for the time being. Leave it for now. So, okay. Stay nearby to me. If we're lucky, I've already taken out the... I have not already taken out the, uh, yes, thingy. Uh, catapult. Or possibly there's more than one. It's hard to say. Oh no, there's definitely another one. Okay, we've got we've got more problems, potentially. Yes, they have catapults. Sorry, I forgot to mention that, but we did know that already. So okay, everything's everything's gonna be fine. We just need to snipe off the catapult crews. But we're gonna be somewhere around here. Probably, yes, I saw explosive barrels. So just as soon as they fire. Try and get into a position to, you know, nail them. And also, Ashley, I'm going to suggest you want to stay back for, like, just a second. Stay over here while I try and figure out how to snipe these bastards. Because I see you over there. And no. That was... No, that was a good shot. That worked out. Okay. Where's that coming from? Where is a Catapult the next? I need to get a shot at it. And there he is. I see him. Okay. Right now, he is out of range. And if I just put a shot about there. Catapult number one goes down. Good. They've always set up their catapults next to explosive barrels. Which kind of makes sense. Because, you know, they're firing like fire. So they need fire to light the fire. That's how fire works, I assume. Also, I'm hearing... Oh, I'm definitely hearing more trouble. Right. Where did that second blast just come from? Because 100%, there was just... Another big blast was it from... Oh, Ashley. Spread up. Stay here. No, not ahead. Not that way. No, Ashley. Ashley, no, Ashley. I guess this is their idea of a warm welcome. Oh, I love Leon's dumb one-liners. They're great. Right, just leave him right over here. You're wearing a mask, which may or may not lead to trouble. And healing item. Brilliant. Okay, need that desperately need that potentially get that in play yeah welcome to the castle where oh no 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 none of that yes enemies came from behind in this area in the original fortunately they're not that tough individual monks not that bad purely because well you know what some of them have got shields that's where the toughness lies the tools they're bringing to bear sometimes yeah the rest of it not so bad now is the second. Oh, no, it's not. It's somewhere over here. Okay. Ashley, stay back while I try and figure out where my next target is. I see it. Right. Do I have a shot at them from here? Not that I can bloody see, unfortunately. We're going to have to, yes, get into a better position to get the shot. Problem is, I'm on a timer. As soon as this thing goes, they start reloading. So at that point, I need to start moving forward uh, into cover. Right, this should be good cover right here. They won't be able to hit this spot. Just watch out for more enemies. Uh, okay, actually, maybe he's in a bit of a difficult uh, position right now. Everything's going to be... Oh! 
Mace person. Then that thing. Okay. Two shotgun blasts. That's absolutely fine. Everything's going to be a-okay. Presumably anyway. Right. We're doing it pretty well here. Just... Ashley is a very calm under the circumstances, by the way. So, okay. See a couple of enemies. I've actually taken out that. Oh. Number three. Over there. But I do not have a good shot at anything as can deal with it. Oh, I see number three. Right, there's also number four. Okay. You can be eliminated. I mean, just out of interest. Just going to toss a grenade up there just to see if that... That actually worked. Okay, you know what? I'm impressed with myself coming up with that idea. Now, one more needs to go down. So, if you're now all they've got... That means, yeah, if I go around the back at this side, uh, they shouldn't be able to get to me. There we go. Here comes that attack. Ashley, you're with... Never mind, there's literally no way to go that way. Great. Also, can't help but notice, there's bloody blue medallions here. Oh, well, that's just... That's great. Blue medallions in this section. That's precisely what I wanted to see right now. Just uh, wait for a nice, precise shot at them. Okay, there's... Ashley is very easily impressed. You know what? Honestly, I'm glad she's focusing on the positives. Because otherwise, she'd be focusing on the fact that people are firing flaming balls of death at us. Okay, wait for them to fire the next shot. Then we're going over the bridge. Because honestly, that's the only direction we can go. Wait for it to land. And now we go. Because the reload is on the slow side. Right. Get over to here. Into cover. Get down. Do I now have a shot? And the answer is... No, unfortunately. Then again, maybe I don't need one. By the looks of it, yes. If I drop down here, that's going to bring me inside this structure. Which might be precisely where I need to be. It looks like these things can't turn. So I suspect you can't actually do anything to me, can you? No, no, you cannot. Marvelous. Right, bring it down at the... Didn't mean to do that, to be honest. That was me just kind of, you know, trying to get some extra load in the balls. But uh, also, oh, didn't see that there either. Marvellous. Don't know how I didn't see that. That was like right cooking there. But if you literally can't fire at me right now. You know what? I feel like I might be kind of safe. And just rotate to, well, step one. Screw you. And step two, screw the door. Honestly, that section was actually, yeah, a bit more intense than the original, I think. That was actually manageable. So, oh, blimey, okay, there's, 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 there's trouble. Sorry, didn't realise you were going to be here. Be ready for trouble wherever. Oh, yeah, we got more coming in yet, though. It's just a few more, and... Uh, oh, it's the guy in charge. Right, don't bother going for the jump. Don't snipe rifle him. Bad idea. The head's going to be useless because he's wearing the helmet. So just, uh, yeah, go for the chest with the pistol. Music calms. Uh, we're golden. Okay. That's that's okay, actually. That was very similar to the original. So uh, we've got it under control. Though we're not done yet, though. I see, yeah, a way to get to the one over there I broke. Just need to get to the ladder and whatnot. So, okay. As the area is now empty, well, one. There's some form of, uh, yeah, treasure. Here. I can hear squeaking, but I'm pretty sure it's in here. It's just drop down. And Ashley, hilariously, if you just kind of uh, leave her alone and don't bother catching her, she just sort of uh, tosses herself off a cliff eventually. And she's fine. She's way more capable than she used to be. It's marvellous. So, okay, that gets me in here. There's definitely going to be a treasure in this bit of the world. And spare ammo too. Marvellous. Oh, hilariously, the treasure was right back at the start. Like, the bit we were passing right at the beginning. Oh, and that's... Can I just maybe with the... I cannot get in range of that. Right, we'll come back for that later. It's all gonna be fine. And yeah, this gets me to the lovely one over here. Honestly, yeah, one thrown grenade at this guy. So you're not being fired at at all when you're trying to use the cannon. I'll take that as a huge win. I think that's actually a really, really good move. So, okay, also just crack you open and treasure, which I desperately, desperately need, including my first ever magnum ammo. And you right there, lovely. 
Elegant bangle. Brilliant. Anything I can just plug jewels into because I'm swimming in jewels. So, okay. We're in a good shape so far. Got another note. That is not actually, uh, yes, another blue medallion. It's just a thing of saying, hey, destroy the blue medallions. Okay. All in the castle gate. I've missed two and uh, I haven't bought the treasure map yet because I didn't actually have uh, the materials uh, to do so. So... Okay, they can't be that well hidden. All right, I've already cleared the area. Hang about, I'll find them. Okay, number five in the building where the cannon was. Oh, and this one took me a while. It's a cocky jerk. So it's actually hidden out of the area in the tree nearby. So that there, that's just a mean game. Right, that done. Into the castle proper. Beautiful. And... Oh, yeah. I suspect there's going to be uh, trouble before we're done here. Also, seriously, I would like a new shooting range. Right, Mr. Sharp, two blues for the maximum multiplier. No, I could do two yellows, but yeah, I'd rather hold uh, at least one of everything, just in case I need them down the line. And here we go. That gets me the castle treasure map, which I should definitely take, because that is going to literally pay for itself. No trouble there whatsoever. But we've also got... New briefcase, red. Uh, so, okay, more red herbs. Uh, but more importantly, here we go. They've started appearing. Uh, upgrade tickets. So, uh, use this to access the weapon's it's unique upgrades. Basically, yes, taking it beyond its maximum. So, uh, that is bloody expensive for mine. Right, we'll be coming back for that much later. Still, fix up the knife and that should still leave me with, yeah, enough change to buy something good. It's got to be, oh, blimey. Okay, bit shy on power on the rifle, but it's still doing its job uh, plenty good enough. I'm going to say Magnum reload two rounds at a time, because that's basically halving the reload time on the Magnum. That's got to be a good idea. And beyond that, yeah, we can't do that with the rifle. Fortunately, yes, this doesn't need to be reloaded uh, one shot at a time. You can just slap a new clip, magazine, whatever the right word is. Slap one of them in, you're golden. Could do it a bit faster, but... I feel like potentially, you know what, could do the same thing for the shotgun. Or just more ammo capacity. Or fire rate. Same thing, of course, for the pistol. You know what, let's give you more rate of fire. Nice fast firing gun, that'll do nicely. Oh yeah, definitely take the treasure map. There are like multiple treasures just in this next room. Though, I suspect there's going to be more in here. Than just treasures. I suspect we're about to run into an old friend. A most warm welcome to my castle. Such a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, Mr. Kennedy. Who the hell are you? Me? Oh, please, call me Ramon and allow me to get straight to the point. I would like you to hand the girl there over to me now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy. How novel. Nonetheless, you see, the girl must be ours. But the girl has the very source, your United States, and then. The entire world shall overflow with his grace. For that is the iron will of my master, the most holy, Lord Sadler. So then, you will comply, yes? Never. You heard the lady. How unfortunate. Do make sure our guest feels at home, now that he has chosen death. Oh, we're walking straight into trouble. Including, yeah, sides, shields, all the rest of it. That's all absolutely fine. It's okay. One a grenade. What about that? I feel like that was a good choice right there. No, you flipping don't. And as for you... no. Oh, okay. That's... No. Bad. And oh, cock me. Right. Um, Didn't realise you were going to be uh, right in the background. Out of healing items. Good. Good, 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 good. No. 
None of that for you. And please don't attack Ashley again because she's incapacitated. Right, would you like to get up at this point? I'm so sorry. Didn't realize someone was behind me. With a giant mace, that's what the maces do. They really cocking hurt. Okay, calm for now, but plenty of stuff dotted around here. May as well start cracking open the treasures, seeing what we've got in this bit of the world. Uh, gold bar, more money. Never say bloody no to that. And uh, I suspect a few more bits and pieces too. Do enjoy just, uh, yes, kicking over beautiful vases. That's always very pleasing. And... Okay, gonna need to pop back here with uh, some form of a magic puzzle cube. And a chest around the other side, but by the looksy of it, hang about here, can we... Oh, we cannot get up just yet. Okay, fine. Gonna be a while before we loop back around to upstairs, apparently. Yeah, especially with this door locked. So we're gonna have to do the loopy roundy, though. By the looksy of it, yes, the um magical door with uh, three engravings to insert into it. That's been retired, as has the line, no thanks, bro. Okay, 0 out of 10. Complete failure as a game. And the treasure from this room gets me just about enough gold to, yeah, max out rate of fire on the shotgun. Pretty bloody important. And leave me enough left over to, yeah, go for ammo capacity or reload on the stingray or more on the blacktail. Honestly, I feel like, yeah, maxing out rate of fire, that's a big increase, actually. That's a huge increase. Let's take that. Lovely. Oh, and get out the counter. It is new creepy murder basement and or attic number. We're up to four now. I think we're up to four. So, okay. Nowhere to go but this direction. So, just be ready. It is nothing but traps, ambushes, and also screaming. I was woken in the middle of the night once again. It's those awful noises coming from the basement. The sound of nails clawing at the stone walls. It's the Garador. The, uh, yes, lovely enemy from the original game. Who is uh, basically a big, nasty, blind wolverine. So, okay. We're heading into his territory. And I'm guessing he's going to be guarding a key. So, alright. Just be ready for trouble. Oh, I hear him. And when he shows up, just be careful. Don't run. Don't panic. Play it calm. Ashley. Nice and quiet. What was that? Did they keep animals down here or something? Oh no, it's much worse than that, actually. So just mosey on over to you, buddy. There's the key. Now run. Oh, this floor's going. This floor's not a chance of we getting away with. Yep. There we cooking go. Okay. Don't panic. Don't run. Don't do anything. Just stay very still. Can't see me. Yeah, but don't say that out loud, Leon. Bad plan. All right. Sneak. Move. Get away from him. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Chains. You've got to avoid the chains. He's going to be coming this way in a second. Okay, just wait for him to lose me. Wait for him to lose me. Wait for him to lose me. Then get behind him and knife him. You've got a fully upgraded knife or sniper rifle into the back. Let's have a look see at him in a moment. As soon as we can, get all... Flag ass up the back. We can break these things to get his attention. He'll charge at anything that, uh, yeah, he thinks makes a noise. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's fine. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry. I just need to get right up behind you. I can use the chains, too. I could use the chains to my advantage. Now, you sort of... Oh, he sort of knew what was going on there. He sort of knew what was going on. And... Okay, just down. Okay. Don't know what ticked him off there, but... Basically... Screw you. And now, get down and out of the way. He's going to start spinning around like crazy. 
That doesn't... Oh! Chain. And where's he going? He heard the chain there. Okay, I can use the chains to trigger him. And... It's fine. No, get behind him. Use the knife. Knife, 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 knife! Oh, yeah. That's got to be it. That's got to be the correct answer. Now just get down and start moving away from him. Okay, that's... That's gonna... That's gonna tick him off. That's gonna tick him off. Okay. Honestly, the knife might make this a bit more manageable than it used to be. Just... Oh, wait. Just do it again. Just go in and out and in and out. Loop around. Oh, that is eating my knife condition fast, though. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. At some point, he's going to start getting wise. And he's going to start flailing around a lot flipping more. You know what? Straight for... Oh! He's definitely... Take that out. And definitely still not done. He's going to be coming for where I was a second ago, presumably, which was over there. And if we're lucky, yep. Yeah. Straight to that side of the room. And wait for him to turn. I do not have a shot to move. Avoid the chains, if at all possible. Alright, if we can, just get the... Oh! Was that just a dramatic soundtrack or something else? I don't know. Go! And you, buddy, are down for the count. Okay. Not so bad because I knew what we were going into, but I'm guessing that's not going to be it. He's coming back later. Probably two of them at the same time. I'm also curious whether, yes, if you could distract him, whether you just might be able to escape without actually killing him. It's possible, you know. I'm not sure. And there we go. Now we can move in the right direction. Lovely. Straighten up to whatever's next. So, I'd say that there is an excellent introduction to the castle. Where it is going to be nothing but, uh, yes, traps and monsters and other unpleasant surprises. And, uh, oh bloody hell. Is the water room still in the game? The most monstrous invention of all of Resident Evil history. Because... Uh, I suspect it is, and I suspect we're almost there. So join me next time for the greatest nightmare of the original game. Is it still as terrifying? We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Resident Evil 4. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially, you've gone over the line.